how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw an 8-bit Mario mushroom. And then later on in the in another video, we're gonna go over how to draw 8-bit Mario. But we're gonna be using just a marker, so uh, let's just start getting right into it. So the 8-bit look is uh, obviously more uh, mechanical looking, so with a marker, we're gonna to try to replicate that. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and create a regular circle for the top of the mushroom. and then pull down. Don't fill anything in yet. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, the bottom part of the mushroom. So let's start with the eyes as the first uh, kind of blocky format. We're gonna try to make it as blocky as we can again because we're using just a marker. If you want to know what marker I'm using, and if you want to buy it, it's on Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can just buy it at any time. Um, I had to buy it on... Um, I bought it at an art store, but um, I think... I know it's hard for some people to find this marker. some ladder shapes over here for the other dot. And now I'm going to shade all this in. And I'm going to shade it in relatively quickly because when you when you wait, I mean I have to be careful though. When you wait, it might uh, kind of dry at different consistencies. So a good thing. Again, doesn't have to be exact. You're, you're getting the impression down of a 
Uh, you know, 8-bit, not so much, you know, the exact drawing down. If you want an exact drawing, we would have to kind of like use rulers and all that. What you're doing is you're going over the, uh, kind of the, uh, the, the general spirit of it. And you can mess with it right here, like I'm trying to shape out that plus sign. And that's pretty much it. That's an 8-bit black and white uh, Mario Mushroom. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, if you guys have um, any questions or if you want uh, full-blown programs, I have full-blown programs uh, on how to draw certain things or how to like how to teach yourself to draw if you don't have like art school or anything like that. I do have a program like that. It's on my Gumroad, and I, the one that's kind of highlighted right now would be. Uh, how do you learn to draw? How do you how do you practice drawing on your own when you don't have a teacher telling you everything step by step? I know you have videos, uh, but when you don't have a person in there, which I think is vital, um, how do you teach yourself and how do you regiment you know the learning to draw? Because there's a lot that goes into it more than just the you know the technical one one by one by one. There's actually a lot more in terms of like how much time you spend on it. Um, how do you how do you how, how would you draw like a hand different than you would from a like a monster or something or a tree or but all those have a similar formula and I kind of talk about how you control that and, and how you rational uh, you know basically how you practice effectively because that's kind of what separates people from people that do this for a little bit and people that ultimately do it for a living it's kind of how effective you practice uh, your drawing and how you think about it um, and that's that's kind of um, that's on the Gumroad page and that is uh, by donation. So you just put in as much as you think it's worth. It's 20 videos of me talking. Each video is about five minutes to 10 minutes. Uh, and it's just me talking about uh, what you should do to practice and how you do that. So anyways, go check that out in the link below if, you ever, uh, if you're ever interested. But thanks so much for supporting me. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.